Okay, so anime environment. CD programs are now getting way easier to make actual anime environments like these ones, and they look pretty convincing. In this course, I plan on going kind of in-depth with different nodes I use in making Blender environments so that you can understand the process and one day make your own shaders with this knowledge in mind. Let's get started. The first node we are going to talk about is the Mix RGB node. In my opinion, this is probably the most important node you would use in an anime texture. There are a few settings with this node that are pretty important to anime environments. The one is known as color. The other one is the basic mix setting. The other one is color burn and color dodge. There are also others such as multiply, add and lighten. But uh, those I will discuss when I talk about the gradient node. But for now, we are going to talk about these different settings. So the first one we are going to speak about is the Mix RGB set to color. So bring in the Mix RGB, we are going to set this blend mode to color. We have an image texture here, and we want to change the color from this basic image color to the references light brown color. So as you can see now, we only have brown and dark browns on our image. Now we can take it a step further, and this is when we are going to bring another mix RGB, but it's set to the basic mix color. And all we need to do now is uh, play with the factor node because, uh, as you could see previously, the image texture was a bit too intense. So we are just going to tweak this um, intensity with the mix RGB set to mix and maybe bring in more brown color. And then we have a lighter image texture. And there we go, we have a nice smooth shader that is not uh, very pronounced but it is there so that you can see some detail on this building it also doesn't mess up any of the lighting capabilities of render it actually kind of makes it even look better it makes this light nice and pronounced uh, especially if you have the bsdf on full roughness and if you want to influence this shader with any light uh, you could definitely do it because at the end of the day you are still using the principal bsdf and it looks pretty convincing with this um, with this mixed RGB setting. You could even take it further and bring in a value, hue and saturation node and you can play with the saturation and the value. But over here, I suffice myself with just a nice big light behind the building and this plain image texture with a mix RGB and a color. Now moving on to the next example, we have some wood and we are going to bring this mix RGB into a color burn blending mode because this wood texture is a bit bland and a bit dull. What a color burn would do is it would make the color more intense. So we have a nice bright red orange color on the mixer on the color burn, and we're going to play with the factor because, as you can see now, it's making the color way more rich. If you had a normal saturation node, it would just bump up all the colors. But a color burn influences the mesh with the color that you chose, so it's not just a blanket saturation. And we can make it a bit brighter by adding a value hue and saturation node and bumping up the value. For a color burn, you wouldn't set the factor too high. So I normally use it 0 0.050 or 0 0.040 and that makes the color a bit more rich and more pronounced. And now you can also use a color dodge uh, if you wanted to. It makes the color uh, a bit more light and doesn't make it as rich as the color burn does but it definitely influences it in a very nice manner. These two methods, the color burn and the color dodge, are perfect for wood textures and metal textures. And that is it for today's tutorial. Uh, just a nice rundown of some mix RGB settings that can definitely help you in your anime texture journey. The next one we will be talking about the gradient node and other mix RGB settings. But that is it for today. I hope you benefited and I hope you learned something. Alright, bye.